No. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. We were on our way to Srinagar in Kashmir, a place that has intrigued me for years. And we met our lovely local guide, Amir, who was about to take us to an unusual residence. We are at Dal Lake. Just flown in very early, so my brain's not working. We're at Dal Lake, and we're going to take a boat to our houseboat. Um, and I'm very excited to see what it's like. Thank you, Shukriya. Here we go. Ooh. Right. Hello. Climb hey, how are you? You okay? Nice to meet you. I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Wow, check this out. Hey, what's your name? Gulam. 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 Gulam, nice to meet you, Gulam. Enjoy. Pardon? Where are you from? London. London. Yeah, we're from London. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. This is this is exciting, isn't it? Look at this. Do you want to do with my feet? Look, I'm sort of, I'm sort of, I'm sort of lying down here. We're lounging, aren't we? Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I think we should be on that side. Guys, I think we should be on that side. A bit more weight on this side. It's cool. It's cool. We're kind of tipping more to one side. Yeah. What, what have you eaten this morning, Isaac? Because it's tipping towards you. I'm on a diet. Don't you know? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> That's boring. The weight distribution was immediately altered. What do you think, boys? It's good. Nice way to wake up. Yes. We were making our way to the houseboat that we would be staying at for the next few days. That one's called the Taj Palace. Look, every, every boat has got its own name down here. Oh gosh, this is gorgeous. Wow. So Dal Lake is the only lake in India <coughs> where basically there is, we say, life on the lake. They have all the shops either floating or just on the side. So you've got pharmacies, you've got cosmetic shops, you've got food shops, you've got people selling flowers and handicrafts. It's a hive of activity all on the lake. After getting up at five o'clock this morning to fly from Ladakh, from Leh, um, oh, this is so nice. It's only about half eight or something, half eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Before long, we arrived. Here we go. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So chilled, here we go, here we go. I'm trying to fall in as I get off. There we go, lovely. Thanks so much. The mountain, just oh, it's just gorgeous. <gasps> wow. Hello. Hi. Gosh, look at this view. Yeah. See what this boat is like. Oh, look. Look at that. This was my first experience of a houseboat and I didn't know what to expect. Gosh, look, it's huge. Look at this. Wow. Here we go. Hello, sir. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take our shoes off. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> look at this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I actually don't, I'm speechless. I told you I didn't know what to expect, but I did not expect this. This room was the living room, complete with ornate wooden carvings and crystal chandeliers. Absolutely everything here was stunningly beautiful. long corridor with bedrooms. We're down the end apparently, look, 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 look. You see? Then we're down here. Not sure which ones are ours. You said this is for us. Yeah, okay. That's for you. What's it like? This was the boys' bedroom. And right at the end of the corridor was ours. 
the huge Kashmiri rug was so soft underfoot. And like the boys, we had our own little ensuite bathroom. I don't know, I just, I actually don't know what to say. This is, I've never stayed anywhere like this before. This is incredible. So what I did find out is when the Brits were here in India, trying to rule India all those years ago, um, they wanted to buy land here but they weren't allowed, which is a good thing. Um, however, what they did was they bought houseboats. So a lot of these houseboats have a very coloni old colonial feel about them. And they were allowed to live on the Dal Lake. I'd, I've read many a time that Kashmir is a paradise on earth. And I have literally been um, on this boat on Dal Lake probably for 34 minutes. And um, I can totally see why. It's breathtaking, and the mountains, they're so sort of like mysteriously misty with all the kind of blue hues disappearing off magically into the distance. Birds swooping over the lake, it's something else, it really is something else. See all those fish in the corner? It's actually quite a lot. Let's have a look, where are they? Oh yeah. Down there? Do. Yeah. The water, all gonna come they all go crazy, yeah? Really? Right, go. Oh, look at them go, look at them go, look at them go. Nice, huh? Breakfast on the house boat is a fine affair. We've got our Kashmiri bread. This is really, really nice. I'm having it with jam. I've got my omelette, look. Got my toast. We've got lovely chai did just try the Kashmiri chai, which is that one, which is salty. Ooh, it's like swimming in the sea with your mouth open. <laughs> I don't think I can handle the salty drinks. I'm sticking with the sweet one. Thanks a lot. But I can understand why they have it first thing in the morning, because you drink a sip of that and it wakes you up. Mm. No Remember I said that life here is all on the lake? Well, it was time to meet some local traders selling handicrafts. Brothers Aladdin and Imran sell both pashminas and Kashmir scarves and go from houseboat to houseboat, showing their wares off. And luckily they agreed to be filmed so that I could show you some of their local pieces. Who makes these? My father. My your father, so he's also father. selling like this and my, yeah. Really, he's is, making is, it. Yes, Gener oh. this is our generation to generation work. Yeah. My grandfather is also doing that for us. Wow. And look at this piece, man. Oh, they're so, they're so um, delicate, aren't they? And this is full hand look at work. This really, really beautiful. The detail is stunning, isn't it? Pashmina, you see, pashmina is what? Pashmina is a go tool coming from the neck. The neck. Only yeah. from the neck. Right. Kashmir is a wool yes. from the same gold but the body so which one is worth more this is the softest yes yeah so pashmina i understand different smell and people you know in other place people telling you this is cashmere people think this is the top quality but no no yeah you do yeah, yeah. every place i know but cashmere is the second quality cashmere uh, is, is the second pashmina is the top yeah. how much are these then like this one D different different prices all because this is not a plane this is uh -huh. different embroidered yes you go sit on a smooth satan one of scooter that one is one what can most put on us in rupees i will tell you or in euro i will tell in you. rupees and i'll try and work it out into pounds yeah in, yeah. in rupees in, in rupees, rupees and i'll try and atras, atosas this much rupees how much is the rupees. pound that is <laughs> this beautiful pashmina was twenty eight thousand rupees which is over three hundred dollars it was certainly stunning but way out of my price bracket so i decided to look at a lovely cashmere scarf look at this one 
wanted a nice blue, like a plain blue, uh, which I thought my mum might like. She likes, she looks really good in this colour and it will go with all sorts of things that she's wearing. And it's cashmere and it's very, very warm, so perfect for the winter. It's very nice. Ah, now, where's your boat? Ah, I can see. Ah, just there. Which one? Oh, the just there. Yeah. There, there. Is this down there? Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, do you know what? I wish I could buy one of those pashminas. They were so gorgeous, but they're just too much money. Each one takes months to complete, particularly if it has embroidery. Um, but it has to be something you're going to wear, and uh, I don't think I'd wear it enough to justify three hundred pounds. They're so so beautiful. One day, maybe one day. Just had a shower, and we're about to go out for um, a sort of sunset boat ride um, further down the lake. I tell you something about this place. It literally feels like you've stepped back in time. Not sure how far. Nineteen twenties? What do you reckon? Um, but it's literally like I feel like I've just walked through a portal and I've come here and particularly when you walk down the corridor it's just like a bygone era it's amazing now one thing you should know about this place is that the weather can change very quickly look what happened by the time I made it to the other end of the very long corridor <laughs> Suddenly there's a real storm that's coming in on Dar Lake. It's incredible. We were going to go out for a boat ride, but we've delayed it until tomorrow. Otherwise it might end up like the Titanic, I think. I was more concerned about the traders who were in their boats with simple paddles. The guy selling flowers has just come in because it's too bonkers out there, but I feel like he's just going to take his head off in a minute. We spoke to him, but he didn't want to leave his boat instead choosing to shelter close to our permanently moored houseboat until the storm passed. And luckily, within a short time, it did. Next morning, you would have had no clue about the crazy weather. Hello. One of my sons. One of my sons is always intent on making me do things that I don't want to do. And one of those is to walk around the edge of the boat on very thin plywood that looks like it's going to crack at any moment. He actually made me do it in the dark last night. I had quite the scare when I was putting my hands here like this and I noticed something dark and large and it was a massive spider and I didn't know what to do because obviously I can't fall backwards to get away. And I went left and it went left and I went right and it went right. It's quite the most horrific experience. <clears throat> Apart from the time that he pushed me into the Amazon with piranhas, yep, that happened as well. It's always the same one, it's always the same one. You see him down there. There's, there's no grab handles. And he, oh, did you see that? Look, look. See? Takes a millimeter. This just moved down. Can't hang on to these. I want to come down to this one. How do I come down to this one? Jump. No, but it'll wobble. Won't it? Right, okay, I'm coming down. Stop, stop moving it. There's nothing to hold on to. I hold on to your hand. Oh gosh. But that one's traveling the right way, isn't it? Just need to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour, but if you thought this was beautiful, just you wait until you see the Kashmiri landscapes that I was lucky enough to see the next day.